Welcome to Faith for Living, a true foundation. Lesson three, I do not own the rights to this music. The topic is be faithful to the pattern established. The lesson scripture is found in Leviticus chapter 10, verses one through seven. And that reads, and Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer and put fire therein and put incense thereon and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And there went out from fire, there went out fire from the Lord and devoured them and they died before the Lord. Then Moses said unto Aaron, this is that the Lord spake saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me. And before all the people, I will be glorified. And Aaron healed his peace. And Moses called Mishael and Elzaphan, the sons of Uziel, the uncle of Aaron, and said unto them, Come near, carry your brethren from before the sanctuary out of the camp. So they went near and carried them in their coats out of the camp, as Moses had said. And Moses said unto Aaron and unto Eleazar and unto Ithamar, his sons, Uncover not your heads, neither rend your clothes, lest ye die, and lest wrath come upon all the people. But let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, be well the burning which the Lord hath kindled. And ye shall not go out from the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die. For the anointing oil of the Lord is upon you. And they did according to the word of Moses. The memory verse for today's lesson is Leviticus chapter 10, verse 3. And that reads, Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is that the Lord spake, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me, and before all the people I will be glorified. And Aaron healed his peace. The key terms are strange. Strange means another stranger, foreigner, an enemy. I will be sanctified. That means to consecrate, sanctify, prepare, dedicate, be hallowed, be holy, be sanctified, be separate. The pattern means an example. In the technical sense, the pattern in conformity to which a thing must be made. The tabernacle of that well-known movable temple of God, after the pattern of which the temple of Jerusalem was built. The altar is symbolic of Christ's atoning, work on the cross. The altar is symbolic of the means through which we approach God. Through the perfect sacrifice of Christ on the cross, there is no other means of salvation. In Hebrews chapter 8 verse 5, we realize the importance of remaining true to what has been established by the Lord himself. They serve at a sanctuary that is a copy and shadow of what is in heaven. This is why Moses was warned when he was about to build the tabernacle. See to it that you make everything according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. Nadab and Abihu, Aaron's sons, disobeyed God in a matter that seemed insignificant, but cost their lives. They were commanded to only use fire from the brazen altar to burn the incense in their censers. Since our text says they used strange or profane fire, it apparently came from a source other than that specified by the Lord. For their trespass, Nadab and Abihu were burned to death by fire that went out from the most holy place. Moses commanded Aaron that he was not to mourn for his sons or to complain about the judgment they received from the Lord. To do so would deny the severity of their act. Nadab and Abihu were Aaron's sons and Moses' nephews. Why were they punished? 
Was it reasonable to command Aaron not to mourn for his sons? What spiritual lesson is communicated by Moses' command? Why are we to remain faithful to the patterns established by Christ's atoning work on the cross? There is no other work performed by any other individual that can replace Christ's atoning work on the cross. The end. God, we thank you. We pray that you order our steps, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we turn away from everything that is strange, Father. Your word says, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. In the name of Jesus, give us an ear to hear and a, a spirit of obedience, Father, to say yes to your will, yes to your way, Father. In the name of Jesus, and thank you for this lesson, Father. Let the, let the word find good ground in the name of Jesus. We pray, thank God and amen. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.